I want to give you another aspect of this God that we serve. Turn to the book of Numbers. 23. Uh oh. Verse 19 through 21. Y'all gonna make me preach up in here. Yep. Numbers 23, we know it. When y'all see it, y'all gonna get happy just by starting to read it. But I also want you to go to the book of Hosea. Uh-oh. The 11th chapter. That's what I see. The 8th and the 9th verse. So we're going to Numbers 23, 19 through 21. Hosea 11. Some of y'all ain't gonna find it. So y'all go to the table of contents. Y'all ain't been there in a while. Hosea chapter 11. Verses 8 and 9. When you get it rested with me. If you have it, say amen. Let somebody show you a Bible if they don't have one. Let them read it along with you if you don't mind. Uh, Numbers 23 and 19. Uh, we've heard it so many times. And here's what it says. God is not a man. Yeah, that's enough to praise him for right there. God is not a man, says Balaam, that he should lie. Neither the son of man, that he should repent. Have he said, and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Hold the stop I need y'all to read these next two verses. Read verse 20. Behold, I have received commandment to bless, and he hath blessed, and I cannot reverse it. Look at somebody say, you already blessed. And it can't be reversed. Because he said, I'm not a man. Yes, God. Yes, God. Therefore, 
I'm going to hold back. Yeah. Over these streets, the scripture seems to that God sees us differently than the world sees us. Thank God for that. Sometimes God sees us differently than even your cold church members. God doesn't look at us like man looks at us. He knows how bad we are and still bless us. My God. He knows that our hearts are not always perfect toward him, but yet he says, I will never give you up. God is not who we think he is. Right. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your word. Move in our midst, have your way. These next few minutes, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Give us ears to hear and hearts to receive your word. I thank you that I've said and prayed. And if yes. nobody get it, thank you for downloading it to me. Yes, God. I, God, Lord, I appreciate all that you have done and all that you're going to do for us. Even though sometimes we don't deserve it, you still keep blessing us. We give you praise and glory. Have your way. I come against every spirit that's not like you in this place. Move and have your way. Save, deliver, set free by your mighty power. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Everybody said amen. amen. Come on, give God one more praise. Amen. God is not who we think he is. He continues to be a mystery yeah, he does. to us. So thanks to God, when it comes to God, the most important thing to know about God is how to relate to him. How am I going to relate to God? Because how many know he made us relational beings? That we need to relate to God. He made us relational and not religious. And how many know religion is a thing that can get you in trouble? Because religion says uh, you're going to relate to God by keeping rules. All right? I'm going to put a bunch of rules on you. Now, uh, and if you keep these rules to the T, then you'll be in right standing with me. Now, I'm talking religion. I'm talking relationship. Right. And here's what religion said. Keep the rules. Don't mess up. Keep them perfectly. And if you can keep them perfectly, then you'll be in right standing with me. However, if you know and keep messing up with the rules, you're going to upset God. And God is going to be up there upset. And then because you keep breaking the rules, God is going to punish you by sending you to hell. Well. That's what religion says. Okay? And so, it's, it's, it's interesting that when you talk about religion, most of the time religion is what you shouldn't do. Okay, what you shouldn't do. Even the Ten Commandments come up and say, what? Thou shalt not. Show what it say. Thou shalt not. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Everything is about, about what you shouldn't do. Doesn't tell you what you should do or can do, but religion always tells you what you can't do. And then when we find ourselves not doing or doing the thing that God said we can't do or shouldn't do, how many know that puts a guilt trip on us? Amen. And now we're feeling bad because we're not following the rules that, watch this, not all the time that God said. But sometimes churches put in rules that are not God related. Wow. Amen. 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 And, and sometimes we miss it, the church is missing, and we'll substitute a church rule for what God, God says. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Amen. This is how you get denominations. This is how you get uh, different kinds of teachings. And certain churches say you got to do this to be saved. While other churches say you got to do this to be saved. You should do this and you shouldn't wear that. How many know God's word is clear and it's only one book? But where are we getting all these denominations and all these different kinds of teachings? The reason being is that somebody is isogenous scripture and not exogenous scripture. Wow. They're putting in the scripture what they think it should say instead of pulling out of it what it wow. really says. And you get in trouble and God is up there saying, y'all folks are honest. 
children, and you don't even know me. Wow. Your argument about one another, God said, help that life. All y'all got it wrong. Wow. I ain't what you think I am. Come on. There's wow. a way you put me in the box. Somebody says, I'm three. So the one who says, I'm one, argue with the one who says, I'm three. Where it's three gods. It ain't three gods, it's one God. Where's one God? Where's one God with three manifestations? And we, we all argue about who God is. Let me tell you something. I don't care if there's one God with six heads. I'm going to look at all of them and say, I got all of y'all wrong, but thank you for saving me. Thank you, thank you for delivering me. Thank you for setting me free. I may not ever understand you, but I was lost at Man! Trouble. In other words, if God would scrutinize us, right. if God would mark down every time we thought wrong, oh every time we said something that didn't please Him, I'm in trouble already. Every time we cussed, well, every time we went to the wrong place at the wrong time, well, if God would scrutinize us, I'm talking about your bishop and your leader. If God was me, I wouldn't be standing here preaching right now. Amen. 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 Nobody, to the man. nobody, somebody said nobody. Nobody. Can stand the street of God. I know I can. He got real technical. I know I can. Because nobody could stand. But the next verse says, Psalm 134, but there is forgiveness with thee. Right. There is forgiveness with thee. I In other words, wrong thank way. God for grace and mercy. I know you're right. I certainly do, I sir. Uh -huh. Thank God for grace Minor. and mercy. Listen, you wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for grace and mercy. You wouldn't be sitting where you are if it wasn't for grace and mercy. You have done no good for God to excuse you. But it's God's grace and His mercy that keeps on bypassing All right. what He should do to you. And you got the nerve to sit here and not clap your hands. Not My God. God. He yeah, he does. And I'm going to give it to him, sir. Thank God for grace and mercy. Thank God for grace and mercy. Uh, Certainly I am. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And all Jeremiah said in Lamentations 3 and 2, it is of the Lord's mercy. My God. That we are not consumed. Oh, wait. Because it is a consumed fire. Yeah. Because he is. That we are not consumed. Yeah, cause he is a consuming fire. Woo! Thank you, God. Not. Yeah, thank you, God. There are new. Yes, sir. Every morning. Yes, sir. You ain't got uh, yesterday's mercy. My God. For today's mess up. No. You used up all the mercy for yesterday's mess up. Yesterday. Oh uh, yeah, but today he got a new mercy for you. Thank you, God. Probably should. That's what, that's what David said in Psalms 124 and 1. But I thank you, God. My God. For the Lord. Who was on my side. Who was on my side. Yes. I wouldn't be here today. If it had not been for God who graced me with his mercy. David said in Psalms 32, and what blessed is the man who sin is not imputed to him. 
And mother said, he was saying that after he had sinned with Bathsheba. Now the man after God's own heart. The, master. the man who really loved God. Made a big boo. He messed up big time. Royally, yeah, he did. And he should have been Kill. destroyed. He should have been Kill. let go. That's right. Somebody said, but God. But thank you, God. God will send a prophet to you. To wow. Confess on your own. Wow. David was trying to hide what he had done. And he did it for nine months until God sent the prophet to him. And how many of God sent the prophet to him in mercy? Yeah. Because David was not going to repent. So God sent the prophet to him who gave him the story about the, the, the little you lamb that David said, the man who got that all of these feel. The prophet looked right at him and said, you the man. You the man that done stole the, look, he, 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 you the man that done stole Uriah's wife and made her your own. And now you done killed the man. And here you are sitting up here like everything is all right. When the prophet exposed David, he took off his crown, he took off his robe, died, he took off his robe. My God! 51. Have mercy on me! I feel like preaching. Oh God, according to that trick of mercy, according to the law uh -huh. to thy loving kindness, verse 2, blot out all my transgressions hey. and wash me thoroughly hey. from my sin. Verse 3, for this being the only kind of sin has done this evil yeah. in thy sight. Verse 6, purge me with this stuff, and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be white as snow. Verse 10, make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones you broke might be made to rejoice. Verse 12, be sorry. Blew it 
Somebody say worship. And man became unlike any other creature. A living soul. But somebody said, but he put his hands on him. Stay with me. Watch where I'm going. Come on here, Bishop. So he formed man, sister Floyd. But when man fell, Jeremiah 18 says that not only did he form man, but he reformed. Okay. Not only did he form man and make him holy, but when he messed up, the Bible said that the clay was marred. The clay was marred, but watch this, it was marred in his hand. Who ever heard of being messed up but still in his hand? I know him. God said, I don't know you. 
In fact, that's going to be the indictment against many people on that day. When they come to stand before God and say, have I not done many wonderful works in your name? Have not devils in your name? Done this and done nothing in your name? And he will profess to them. I know you not. But I never knew you. I know you not. So you got to get to know God. And to get to know him, you got to spend time with him. <sighs> Y'all got no time. You got to spend some time with him. Am I right about it? Yeah, so then you got to judge how much time you spend with them. We're busy people now. You know, uh, time is being uh, challenged by so many things that don't make sense. That's the truth. That's the truth. Because we waste a lot of time that we could be spending with God. Amen. It's going to get quiet right here, but we'll be all right. Amen. Amen. Facebook takes up a lot of time that God should be having. Yes, yes. Television takes up a lot of time that God should be having. Yes, yes. On Saturday morning, I call prayer, but you're too tired. You want to be playing games on, on Facebook. You don't want to come and pray. But if you're going to get to know God, you got to make some sacrifices and get in the secret place. I feel like preaching. Get that woman in the secret place. It's the secret. Yes, God. You need to see the secrets in the secret place. To get to know that. Amen. Somebody said, Lord, help me. How many can throw your hands up time? Need some help in that day. Come on, let's be honest. We don't spend enough time. And God said, I won't reveal things to those who don't spend time with me. Hallelujah. And here's what God says, Sister Carrie. A lot of people know me my name, but they don't know me. I, I, I know over by name. Right. But I don't know her. Don't know my name. I know Bill Gates by his name. I know he's rich. But I don't know him. Right. I wish I did. <laughs> but I don't. How many know that an uh, 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 imbecile can walk down the street, find the watch, pick up the watch, and come to a conclusion that there must be a watch later? Okay, right. Because this watch just didn't exist or come to being. Somebody had to make this watch. Right. Yeah, Psalm 19 1 says, The heavens declare the glory of the Lord. And the firmament declares his voice. They ain't not get other speech that cannot be denied. In other words, you come to the conclusion that there is a God just by looking around. Right. The heavens declare his glory. You know, just looking around, you got to say, How great is our God? That's right. But that don't mean you know him. Because the imbecile may know there's a watchmaker, but he does not know the character of the watchmaker. Wow. He does not know how the, how the watchmaker acts or what his characteristics are. He just knows that there is a watchmaker. If he's going to, he may know his name, but if he don't spend time with him, he'll never get to know him. Yeah. <sighs> Let me go deeper. Husband and wives know each other. Amen. Husband and wives know each other. How do y'all get to know each other? By spending time with each other. Okay? I'm going to let you state this here. Don't let your mind wander. But, but, but here's the statement. The more you get to know your wife, the more she reveals to you. Amen. Because she trusts you. Okay? She begins to reveal her heart. And she begins to reveal everything about her. Watch this though. Even the more closer you get to, the, to them, watch this, husband and wives can get naked before each other. Y'all come get it. Don't get scared. I said husband and wives can get naked before each other and not be ashamed. Now why? Because they have grown to know each other. Come on here. I know y'all gonna get quiet, but let me let me make it clear here. You don't want to get naked before somebody you don't know. You better hurry. Now and don't. You shouldn't show everything to people that you don't know or you're not married to. I gotta teach. I gotta teach. Whenever you show your nakedness to somebody you don't know, you're selling your birthright for a cup of soup. You sell what's practice 
for nothing but a one night flame and you too precious. Right. <sighs> I knew it was gonna be quiet. <laughs> When the king of Babylon came to Hezekiah and said, We sure would like to see all the stuff we got here. And the Bible says that Hezekiah showed the enemy all of his precious things. Show the enemy what was not for his eyes to see. There are some only share with your husband that they ain't going to hear about in the sea. Amen. But because he showed what was precious to the enemy, the enemy came and stole everything he showed. When you give yourself to people you don't know, they steal everything that's precious from you. And because you don't value yourself, believe me, the person you sleep with ain't valuing you either. Oh, uh, I'm going to preach. I ain't going to like this. I know it. 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 Because if you don't think highly of yourself, ain't nobody else going to think highly of you. How do you know you want to have enough self-esteem to know I'm worth more than a couple of soup. I'm worth more than a one-night sleep. Y'all ain't going to talk. I'm worth more than just sleeping with somebody for one night. That's why Joseph wouldn't sleep with part of his wife. He knew that if I sleep with her, she's going to try to control me. But I'm going to control myself. Now? Hallelujah. So you can't show everything to the end. And this is what God says. I don't share my secrets with just anybody. Psalm 25 and 14 says, The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show to them his covenant. He will show to them, not everybody, he will show to them his covenant. Amos 3 and 7 says that he doesn't do anything unless he share it with his prophet. What's that? Why that? Because prophets know him. And because they know him, how many of God is free to share with them? Hallelujah. I'm going to tell y'all something. When you're really in a relationship with God, you can get naked before him. You can, you can tell him everything because guess what? He know it anyway. Why are you trying to protect the reputation that ain't the that reputation? No. He knows everything we've done. He knows everything we've said. He knows everything we think. And the Bible says in Proverbs 28 13, He that covered his sin shall not prosper. You can't prosper by hiding. Come on, Adam and Eve. Get up behind that tree. Where are you at? I know where you're at, but I need you to tell me. I know where you're at. He didn't ask Adam and Eve where they at for location. He asked them to know where they were spiritually. Where are you at? Why all of a sudden you hide behind the fig tree? Come on here. Mm -hmm. I wish I could get deep in the eye. Come on, bitch up. Why are you hiding behind the leaves? Come on. <laughs> and why you let the Jesus cursed the fig tree? So it's interesting that he cursed the tree that covered up Adam and Eve. Okay, y'all ain't it. <laughs> Jesus looked at that, that fig tree and said, You got a form, but you ain't showing what the form is. You got leaves, but ain't no fruit. So I cursed you. And this is what Adam and Eve was hiding inside behind something. And when God said, Where are you? He said, We hid ourselves because we were what? We were naked. But I thought you had on fig leaves. Why are you saying you're naked when you put up with fig leaves? Because fig leaves won't work with God. Singing in the choir with no lifestyle won't work with God. Singing in the praise team but committing fornication won't work with God. The eyes of the Lord are in what? Every place to hold in the evil. Somebody say, you know, 